Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. In the early 1860s, Zion Chapel African Methodist Episcopal Church came into existence under the leadership of Reverend Paige Tyler. The church property was purchased on North Union Street between Franklin and Main Street in 1862. That building was destroyed by fire. The present building of Zion Chapel was built as Second Presbyterian Church to serve African Americans and rural whites. Unable to support two churches, First Presbyterian sold the building in 1868 to Zion Chapel for $7,000. Harold Rose Revels, a free man of color from North Carolina, served as the pastor of the newly freed African American congregation. In 1869, Revels became a state senator and was subsequently appointed to serve the remainder of Jefferson Davis' term in the U.S. Senate. By 1902, the Cyclopedia of African Methodism in Mississippi described Zion Chapel as the largest, most intelligent, wealthiest and most influential church in the Mississippi Conference. Naturally, in the 1960s, the church played a vital role in the civil rights movement by housing meetings of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Historic photographs document an address in the church sanctuary by Medgar Evers, then Mississippi Field Secretary of the NAACP. Located across the street from the Rhythm Club, the church was the location of the Red Cross, which set up shop on the steps of Zion Chapel to tend those who were wounded in that horrific fire. Today, historic Zion Chapel African Methodist Episcopal Church is a vital part of the community and remains true to its roots in Methodism by presenting a plain and simple gospel of love and inclusion to its members, visitors, and residents of Natchez. Hello, my name is Reverend Burden Mitchell, Jr., pastor of Zion Chapel African Methodist Episcopal Church, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.